October 20th, 2019. Been a crazy last couple few days. Last night, Friday night, uh, we went out for with Amber and her friends for Amber's birthday. Saturday was actually Amber's birthday. We had the chance to go to Hamilton for the Rockstar Triple Crown Finals. That was amazing. It is now Sunday morning. South wind, I really wanted to deer hunt today. Mr. Hunter was out last night seeing a ton of a does, but on his trail cam, eight point mature deer showed up. He's gonna name them Smoker. There's a deer there. Today, south wind, which is no good for our either one of our tree stands. Instead of going on the hunt, we're headed to look for largemouth bass at my favorite place in the whole world. The only thing different is we're gonna try some new baits today. I'm going to try throwing some big hawk and swim baits. I don't know if it's going to work, but those fish really like spinner baits and chatter baits, so try something different. Have fun on the lake. That is the only thing I'm doing today is we're going to catch largemouth. Have a good time. Hopefully we catch some, hopefully we see some. I may be in a better mood after we put a couple donkeys in the boat. This is the time of year. It, it's a little later in the year than when I put my personal best in the boat last year, but it, it's right around the same water temperature. So always a chance of that giant donkey. Deer hunting's going well. We had a fun weekend for Amber's 40th birthday, and now we're going bass fishing. Gas time. Stop a number one in the books. Got some food, got some gas for the truck and the boat. And now we are headed to the boat launch because I got some retying to do. I was so excited to get out of the house and get fishing. I pretty much forgot to pack the essentials. I got warm clothes, I got fishing rods and reels, and I got a pile of baits. And now we're gassed up and we got food. We are about 10 minutes away from the launch. And then like I said, all we gotta do is retie some line. And then we're going fishing. Pumped. It's a beautiful day. 12 degrees Canadian, warming up to a high of 18. It's like summer in October. Made it to the boat launch. All we have left to do now is retie a couple baits. I wanna try swim baits today. Big swim baits, it's something that I've never really done for largemouth. I know pike will take them, but I, I got a feeling these bass will take them. Not the ones in the reeds, but the ones that like to hang out in the open water chasing bait. It's fall time, there's big fish around and big fish are looking for big lures. So the only downside I'm gonna have today is keeping at this and not throwing what I usually throw, but we're gonna change some rods and reels up. I'm not gonna do this in a tips and tricks video because I'm not sure that this is going to work yet. Spinner bait, bladed jig rod, Tatua bladed jig rod. This is a glass rod that I usually throw spinner baits and chatter baits on. Today we're taking that spinner bait off. We're gonna try the big bull shad. This is a lure that I got in a simple fishing box. I did catch some pike on it early in the year. Big old bait. We're gonna tie this bugger on. Two, three. That'll do the truck there. One rod done. Man, wouldn't that be great if I can get a bass? I'd be so stoked if I can get a large mouth to bite one of these. Other thing we're going to do Brain Aller bladed jig rod. We're gonna take the spinner bait off that. That line's looking hurting, so we're gonna peel a bit of that off. And on this one, we're gonna start out. Big old soft plastic swim bait. I've had this box, it's loaded with different swim baits. I haven't even had it in the boat all summer. That's how little I've used this for bass. This will be, if I catch one today, this will be the first time I, this has ever worked for me. So we'll get that tied up here. Two, three, four, five, six. Aler bladed jig rod is now swim bait rod. And the last move we're going to make is we're going to use our Cody Meyer versatile rod and we're going to put the spinner bait back on there because I got all kinds of confidence on the spinner bait on this water. If we can't get them to hit on the swim baits, I'm going to keep flipping back between the chatter bait and the spinner bait, but I'm more likely to throw the big swim bait if it's tied up and sitting at the front. There we go. We are ready for the day. All we got to do now is go find some bass. I got a feeling that they're going to be shallow and that there's their going to be schooled up fish but if we get into a real big giant he's going to be shallow and he's probably going to be by himself the only thing i got to worry about is not giving up on those big swim baits right away i'm just like everybody else when you try something new it's really easy to put it down too quick and jump to something you got a little more confidence in but i think we're ready to go let's get this in the water and i think we're going to start flipping 
hurricane shower and then we'll move we got all kinds of time today we just I'm just happy to be out here well I said last time there was one last kick of the can for these I think today is the last day that we're going to have time to fish our largemouth down here it's my favorite place in the world to fish so let's do this you're my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends I'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless we were just a swim bait but i don't think i'm getting deep enough so we're gonna put on this great big crankbait see what we can make happen i did lose a giant fish on the drop shot but i can't get any more hits Something crazy. There's billions and billions and billions of bait fish down there. Let's get this tied on. See if we can't get them to crank this. I've caught them on the big crank here before. catch a bucket if my life depended on it. I broke two fish off. One I think could have been a largemouth on the drop shot and one bit my swim bait off which probably was a big pike. There's not a lot of fish kicking around. I feel like there will be more fish this evening when the sun starts to go down but let's take a big risk and go out and see if we can't find some smallmouth. Only done it once. But let's give her a go and see if we can't find something. It's worth the risk today. That is hands down the biggest pike I've ever caught. Hands down, that's the biggest northern I've ever hooked. Wow. That's gotta be 20 pounds. What's up, dude? Man, that's a big pike. He's jumping. That is a monster northern pike. Holy jumpings. Wow. That is impressive. Can I get this without getting bit? That is a huge, huge, huge northern pike. Oh my gosh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is for sure the biggest northern pike I've ever caught. Oh, stinky old bugger.
big old northern. I'm ready for them this time though. And I got a pair of pliers handy. Absolutely choked it. Choked it. He tried to swallow it. He's not even hooked. That bugger tried to swallow that. Another big old northern. Woo! See ya, bud. That's pretty cool. Off the water, not at all the largemouth bass smash vest that I was looking for, but that first gator I landed is by far the biggest pike I've ever caught in my life. The thing was gigantic. We did get everything on the swim bait. They were just long and not green and fat. I guess in the fall time, you can't be a beggar when I realized how big those pike could be. I really didn't go search for largemouth anymore. Kind of got to go with the flow sometimes. Only downfall, I lost a pile of swim baits because I kept getting bit off. I put 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and I still lost two or three after that. So I'm going to have to uh, maybe carry some metal leaders or some really heavy fluorocarbon because swim baits are expensive and I just donated a whole ton of them to Northern Pike. Can't be disappointed with the day at all even though we didn't catch bass and that was kind of the target sorry I'm trying to get cleaned up here and talk to you guys that was kind of the target species in the fall when you find something that's a little bit of the juice you'll roll with it I'm pumped that I caught fish I'm pumped that I caught fish on the swim baits it, all around good day couldn't be happier other than if I beat the personal best on the, the largemouth thing. I went way out in the lake looking for smallies. I never saw anything out there. But when I got out there, the water was like 45 degrees. Not going to go out there. We are headed home. Been a good day. I got a ton of packing up to do. It's like 6.30. The only part that sucks about this fall fishing and this all coming into an end, days are getting shorter, which means I don't get to spend as much time outside. We are going home. Just pulled the picture of that giant pike off of the SD card and it seems that I had the GoPro in the wrong setting. So we're gonna try to edit this vlog as best we can. I'm sorry about uh, it not fitting the frame. We'll figure out some cool way to pull this off. But listen, fall fishing, just go with what happens. I really wanted to catch largemouth if you watch. You know, the, all the way there, I was planning on catching largemouth. It was going to be a big largemouth day and it turned out to be a big pike day. So fall fishing is tough. Sometimes you gotta go with the flow, not with what what is, you know, what you'd like to do versus what you is going to happen, if that makes any sense. It's hard to find fish in the fall, so when you find fish, if you're not in some kind of bass tournament, go with it. That's what I did. I'm sure I could have picked around and found some largemouth in the afternoon, but with big giant pike around and munching swim baits, how can you not give that up? The other thing I wish I would have known those fish were going to be there, I'd have brought way heavier fluorocarbon. You can use lighter fluorocarbon on smaller pike that we have on the Kawartha Lakes, and you won't lose a ton of baits. Those big big giant northern pike that are going to inhale those big swim baits. Let me tell you, I spent a lot of money on swim baits tonight and I'm going to have to get a bunch more. Super pumped, deer hunting is going to get on fire. There's a lot of hunting to come. There's a lot of fishing to come. The smallmouth are going to bite those buckets. Hopefully I'm going to catch some somewhere before the end of the season, but go with the flow. Keep searching till you find something. And when you do find something, stay on it. Doesn't matter if they're pike, walleye, largemouth, smallmouth, just in the fall, go with what God gives you and catch a bunch of them. Great weekend overall. Another shout out. Happy birthday to the one and only Miss Amber. She turned 40 officially on the weekend. We had a great time at Rockstar Triple Crown Arena Cross. Was an awesome weekend. And Mark Hunter saw Buck on Cam. So things are looking up. It's going to be a great week. I don't know how much I'm going to get out hunting and fishing this week just because we have the kiddos. But let me know in the comments what you guys are, did this weekend. What are you doing? Hunting, fishing, spending time with the family. Maybe you're all done fishing for the year. Let us know. Let me know. Will. See you soon. Man, I hope that footage turns out okay.